Newly obtained surveillance video shows two Colorado Springs police officers chasing 19-year-old Devon Bailey, an African-American male, and then later shooting him. The police department said that Bailey reached for a weapon, and that's when police officers shot him. Others questioned the testimony due to the fact that it does not appear the victim has carrying a weapon in the video. Uh, David, clearly there's a big investigation to follow. We don't know all the facts. John Southers, former state attorney general, is the mayor of Colorado Springs. Do you feel that is going to bring uh, a different perspective to this investigation? No, because uh, he's not in charge of the investigation. And the, uh, the procedures here that are being followed are very good. This was a shooting by Col Colorado Springs city police officer. The facts and the investigation are being conducted by a different law enforcement agency, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. Then, as is standard in all uh, cases of police shootings, the information will be turned over to the district attorney. And the district attorney will review it and make a decision whether the officer acted lawfully or not, and then take steps uh, accordingly. You, I've, I've watched the, the video. It's not enough in itself for anybody to come to any kind of conclusive decision. The, for example, one of the uh, individual's relatives said actually he was carrying a gun, but he didn't he didn't uh, draw the gun. So there, you know, in, in any kind of fast moving situation, witness uh, perceptions differ. So I, um, I, I think in the the law, by the way, has is and always has been that both law enforcement officers and law-abiding citizens may use deadly force in, for self-defense in some circumstances and also to prevent the escape of certain fleeing violent felons. And certainly the individual in this case had a very uh, major record of violent felonies. Penn, we don't hear a lot of things out of Colorado Springs, I think, really uh, of this nature, but it's Colorado's second biggest city by a lot. Uh, it's not immune from other problems, and I'm not saying this is a, immediately a problem, but it's getting national headlines. W what have you taken away from what we know so far? Yeah, it's getting national head times, headlines because we need to think of the context. So today is what, the fifth anniversary of the shooting of, of Michael Brown in, 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 in St. Louis, Missouri, an, another unarmed African-American teenager who was killed by a police officer and there was an investigation and no one was charged and we've seen it over and over and over again. On the heels of that you see news reports where um, one of the major networks reported that in a number of police departments um, they've indicated they've started training on implicit bias but results are mixed and some of them aren't doing anything. This is another situation where many people in the country feel the issue is being ignored and that too many unarmed young African-American men are getting shot in the back, often fatally, by police officers and no one is held accountable, investigation or not. So Colorado Springs will be front and center. It will be something talked about because it's part of a growing epidemic that we still see around the country. Lynn, it reminds me of the, sometimes of the prevalence of video in our society. It's like the scenes from Fahrenheit 451 in the movie where there's cameras covering everything. And we're getting to the point where there's cameras covering a whole lot of things, especially something like this. Is that changing our perspective of how we look at issues like this? I saw the video, and maybe it's my bad eyes. You see I have my reading glasses here. But I didn't see anything that can make me say, oh, my gosh, you know, because... You don't know about the weapon thing. That is a huge part of it. John Southers did weigh in on it as the mayor and said, we'll wait for the investigation, which is what you kind of have to do. I think when you uh, start to look at this critically is when you have the results of the investigation and you see what happened there. The conflicting testimony, he had a gun, he didn't have a gun. Patty, wrap it up for us. Well, when Lynn was talking about it, it can't happen here. One of the things about Colorado Springs is it has a reputation as a very pretty and fairly safe town, but it's had a lot of issues lately, certainly some issues over gangs and racism. This is one where until the investigation is done, we're not going to know what really to think, but in the meantime, it's going to heat up tensions in that town.